This video is about what they don't tell you about setting up the T-Mobile 5G internet. All right, so I'm not going to show you how to take the thing out of the box and everything, plug it in. But I am going to give you some pointers about how I set mine up and what you might run into that may be stumbling blocks so that you don't have to do that. And the, the very first one is, I, I am going to talk about the box. Well, first of all, let me just say I'm replacing this tower with the new tower. The new tower is bigger. It looks like it's, you know, maybe even more powerful. Anyway, um, <clears throat> when you open this box, the tower's in there, but in the bottom, underneath the bottom here, that's where the power cord is. So when you take this out, the tower's here, this is there. You have to take out this piece here to get the power cord out. So you might look in there and go, where's my power cord? So that's one thing. Not a big deal, but I just thought I'd mention it. Secondly, uh, password. So when it asks you on the app to like put in a password, you may just look on the back and say, oh, there's a password. Well, there's two passwords. So there's the administrator password. That's not the one. It's the top one. It's the Wi-Fi password. That's the one they want. So look for the second line down, right? Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi password, boom. That's what you want. All right. Thirdly, um, if you're replacing one and the with another, turn the first one off. Turn the one you're replacing off because otherwise the app's going to say, oh, you're just not signed in or yeah, you're blah, blah, blah. We already recognize, you already have this. Well, turn it off um, so that it acts like it's a brand new installation. Okay. Number four, uh, place this tower in the optimal location. So the app will tell you where the signal is coming from, and then it has a video you can watch, and it's basically like keep it off the ground, uh, put it near a window, uh, try it on the highest floor of your house, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you want to put it somewhere that's not too far away from your uh, computer but don't opt to put it next to where your like desktop computer is as opposed to um, what the optimal location for receiving the signal is, if you catch my meaning. If I'm not clear about that, put it in the comments below. I'll explain further. But what I'm saying is, you know, don't you don't have to put it on your desk. Uh, I ran an Ethernet cable. I did a test. Um, it's still faster over the Wi-Fi, on, at least on my desktop, than it is if I plug in an Ethernet cable to the machine because of where my desk is located. Now, if I want to relocate my desk to right next to this, because this is in the optimal location, that's a different thing. Maybe I'll do a test with that later. Um, oh, and the other thing is I did test the speed immediately after starting up the new one, and I was not impressed. I used uh, Xfinity's test. And I used um, Ookla speed test. Ookla always seems to like test higher, faster. I don't know why. And uh, the Xfinity always tests lower, but the Xfinity will give me the upload speed when I'm testing it with my phone, where the Ookla test won't do that. So that's why I use the two. Also just to like make sure they were in the ball, same ballpark, but they were all testing lower than the old one. So I was concerned about that. However, when I woke up this morning, about five o'clock in the morning, I could see that this was updating the um, firmware. So I tested again today and it is lightning fast, way faster. So all I'm saying is the firmware might have to update it before you get the optimal speeds. So that's the five things that I wanted to talk about today that I ran into. I hope you don't run into any difficulties when you're setting yours up, but I thought you might find this useful. If you did, smash like, because that helps me a lot. And uh, put any comments or questions in the bottom of, I'll answer any that I am capable to answer. And uh, thanks. I hope you guys enjoy your new network and your high speeds and have a great day. And I don't work for T-Mobile. I'm just some dude on the internet. So subscribe to my channel helps me. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.